Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. My name is Rachel. Today we are gonna be creating both strength and flexibility, specifically in the core area. So find a little bit of space to move. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and let's get started. So let's begin today on our hands and knees in tabletop. With one of my favorite core activation exercises. So getting warm right away. <laughs> Spread your fingers wide. Make sure your wrists are right underneath your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. We're going to do this two different ways. So we're going to start, we'll start by tucking the toes under actually, you guys. And we're going to do a little hover of the knees. So lift your knees just like an inch, half an inch, not much. Push into your palms. Nice and strong through those shoulders. You're probably feeling some love through the quads. Drawing your belly button back towards your spine. Breathe. Awesome, you guys. Take one more inhale. And exhale. Let your knees touch down. Relax those quads. We're just going to turn the feet to be, or untuck the toes and find the top of your feet. Okay, so a little different, a little different. See how this one feels. Spread those fingers wide again. A little hover, like an inch, not more than an inch. Squeeze the tummy in. Strong through the shoulders, through the entire body. And just breathe. <sighs> nice, you guys. One last inhale, and exhale. Nice, short, and sweet, right? Let the knees come down. Rock your hips side to side a little bit. If you need some wrist circles, come off those hands. Do a little shake. We're going to meet back down on our hands and knees, though, and you can tuck your toes under. Take a nice inhale, and exhale. Lift your knees off the mat and come into a downward facing dog. Awesome, you guys. So keep those fingers spread nice and wide. Your feet can be about hip width apart. And we're just going to keep warming up. We're going to keep activating our nice strong core. So use an inhale and shift your weight forwards into a plank. And exhale. Send the hips back up, down dog. Inhale. Come forward. And exhale, send those hips back. One more, inhale, plank, and exhale. Downward facing dog, awesome you guys. Take a nice big breath in, and out. Use an inhale, gaze forwards, and exhale. Walk or step your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift, and exhale as you fold. Inhale, all the way up to standing. Reach up, look up. And exhale your hands through heart center and down to your sides. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands down to your mat. Step your feet all the way back into a downward facing dog. Awesome, you guys. All right, so our hips are nice and high. We were flowing between a high plank and a down dog earlier, just a moment ago. We're going to keep doing that. So use an inhale, come forward into a plank. And exhale, come back into a downward dog, except take your right hand and try and tap your left foot. Inhale, bring your hand back and come back into your plank. Exhale, maybe tap your right foot with your left hand. Inhale, high plank. And exhale, tap your foot. Inhale, plank. Exhale, tap your foot. Nice, you guys. Two more. One on each side. Plank. Down dog with an option of the foot tap. Inhale, plank. And exhale, foot tap. Awesome, you guys. Bring it back. Inhale, plank, and exhale. Down dog, no foot tap. Take one more inhale here. And exhale, lower your knees to your mat. Cross your ankles, have a seat. Bringing your legs out in front. Leaning back a little bit. Find that nice long spine, start to lean back a bit. Taking some weight out of the toes, boat pose. Lift those feet as high as they want to. They might not leave the floor, but they're nice and light. If you wanna let go of your legs, really go for it. Relax your shoulders, uh, draw your belly in. Breathe, keep your jaw soft. Fire up that core and those hip flexors. Take one more inhale. 
and exhale let your feet cross we're coming back onto our hands and knees so rock forwards again set up your tabletop chuck your toes underneath and lift your hips nice and high downward facing dog awesome you guys all right so we're doing a few planks today so if you have any discomfort through your wrist just come onto your forearms do your planks on your forearms you're still gonna get a great core workout so we're coming back into a plank use an inhale and come forwards set up your plank we're gonna take our right knee and pull it towards the chest and then we're gonna try and tap our left arm and then tap our right arm and bring it back to the middle and send your foot back push back down dog nice little break hopefully come back forwards into your plank knee to the middle right arm left arm middle and back push back down dog awesome you guys one more on each side knee to the middle left arm right arm middle and back send it back down dog and last one knee to the chest right arm left arm middle and back awesome job you guys take a nice big inhale look forwards and exhale walk step you can jump to the top of your mat inhale halfway exhale fold inhale all the way up reach up look up and exhale your hands ah, through heart center to your sides inhale as you reach up exhale fold inhale half lift and exhale hands to your mat walk back into your downward facing dog just one last nice big inhale and exhale ha ah, knees are coming down to the floor cross your ankles again bring your legs out in front finding your boat pose so we're gonna rock a little bit in this one though you guys so lean back a little bit relax those shoulders lift the feet as high as they want to go maybe let go of the legs maybe start to lower your boat your low back down to the mats and then pop it up nice you guys reset reset and then lower little rock of the boat and lift and lower awesome you guys one more if you're rocking it out and meeting at the top nice you guys take a nice big inhale and exhale lower your feet give yourself a little hug as promised we are also creating flexibility in our core so cross your ankles bring your hands in front uh -uh, come onto your knees to start and then slide all the way down onto your tummy. So let's do a sphinx, a nice stretch for the back, for the front of the core even. Tucking your elbows underneath your shoulders, palms facing down, push into the forearms, dropping the shoulders from the ears. So if you feel nice, stretch your back through your abdominals even. Here you can stay if you want a little extra. Bring your hands out wider, lift those forearms for seal. Let your hips be heavy though. Pull the shoulders, drop the shoulders from the ears. Breathe. Nice job, you guys. Take one more inhale. And an exhale. Let your chest and your tummy and your head come all the way down to the mat. Maybe a little rock side to side. Hmm. Awesome job, you guys. All right, we're going to bring our hands under our shoulders. Under our shoulders. Any discomfort for the wrists, you can be on your forearms for this. But we're just going to lift up into a cobra. We're going to lift a few times. So I want you to bring your feet out to the edges of your mat. We're going to use an inhale. You can lift as high as you'd like. Doesn't have to be very high. Exhale, drop the shoulders, soften your glutes. One more inhale and exhale, lower your chest gracefully. Inhale, back up into your cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Drop those shoulders and exhale, gently place it down. Using some strength, your arms to gently lower your upper body. Inhale, lift and exhale remember to keep your glutes relaxed nice job you guys let's do one more one more cobra inhale 
Drop the shoulders, maybe stay for a breath. Ah, and use an exhale to lower yourself all the way back down. Awesome, you guys. Little rock of the hip side to side if you need it. If your feet were out wide, bring them back in. We're gonna tuck our toes and just push ourselves back up onto our hands and knees. So a table top position. Awesome, you guys. Okay, spreading the fingers wide. We're gonna extend the right leg behind. Option to add the left arm. You can lift the right foot. You can keep it down, but we're gonna crunch here. So take an inhale and an exhale. Pull your elbow and your knee together. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. And exhale, let that go. Switching sides. Left leg out, maybe the right arm. Find your balance first, and then take an inhale. And exhale, crunch it in. Elbow to knee. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Awesome, guys. One last inhale. Reach and exhale, hand, knee down. If you'd like child's pose, bring your knees out wide, send your hips back towards your heels, maybe creating a little extra length through your spine as you push into your palms, send those hips back, and then lower the chest and the forehead. Just slow down your breath. Hmm. Awesome work, you guys. Stay a little longer if you'd like. Or you can start to use an inhale to lift back up. Bring your knees in, just crossing the ankles and sending your legs out in front. So we're going to bring the left foot to the inner thigh. The right leg can stay out long. <clears throat> use an inhale, sit tall. And an exhale to fold forwards. Enjoy this nice hamstring stretch. Close your eyes. Just feel. Just breathe. Nice job, you guys. Using an inhale, lift your upper body, nice long spine, and then we can switch left leg out and right foot in. Take an inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. Nice job, you guys. Use an inhale. Lift your upper body. Find that nice long spine. Hmm. And then you can start to send your right leg out next to the left. We're going to lay all the way down onto our backs. Maybe a little rock side to side if you want to massage the low back. But starting to extend the legs. So feet, toes are coming towards the ceiling. If you need to hang on to the back of your legs, you can. Or you could even bring your hands under your hips a little bit. Or maybe just resting your arms at your sides or under your head is a good place to be as well. Just bringing all the weight out of the feet. Adding some ankle circles if you need it. Hmm. Trying to keep that low back connected to the mat. Nice job, you guys. So thinking about that low back the whole time that we have our legs in the air. Don't want that low back to lift off of the mat. If 
you want to add a little leg movement to this, we're going to do a couple leg lifts. So just one leg at a time. That right foot can lower down just as much as it can until that low back wants to lift and then bring it back up and switch sides. Squeeze the tummy in, keep that low back connected to your mat and lift it up. Switching sides, make these slow. Make these nice and slow. Awesome, you guys. Just one more on each side. Low back, staying connected to the mat. Nicely done. Bring the knees in towards the chest or out a little wider. Hug them in though. Maybe a little rock side to side. Awesome work, you guys. Your feet can find the floor. Reaching your arms out wide and letting your knees fall over to the left side. Keep that right shoulder down. Find a nice twist. I see you guys when you're ready. Use an inhale. Lift the legs back up. Bring your low back all the way to the mat. And then start to switch sides. Keep that left shoulder down this time. Awesome job, you guys. Using an inhale, lift your knees back up. And then keep your feet planted for a moment. We're just going to bring our hands behind our head and pull the chin towards the collarbone. Bring the length of the back of the neck. And then I just want you to walk your legs, your feet out. Nice and wide. And gracefully, gently, start to rest your head back down, but try to keep that length that you created through the back of your neck. You might even feel your hair is kind of pulling on your skin of your head a little bit. Kind of feels good. And just resting your arms at your sides. I want you to turn your palms to face down and just walk your fingertips down towards your feet. They probably won't move very much, but you might feel that little pull of the neck or the hair on the back of your head get a little stronger. Again, it kind of feels good. <laughs> and once you've got it, just turn the palms back to face up. Nice. And look at that. Here we are in Shavasana. As always, I encourage you to stay here for as long as you have time for. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. And until we meet again, namaste.